Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a bar chart for a categorical variable. Assuming that we have, we have collected some data, uh, for example here, uh, the gender for uh, some students, male and female, and we have, we have created a categorical variable with two categories, male and female, and we want to create a bar chart, uh, a simple bar chart uh, using SPSS. We can do that in a couple of ways. The first way is to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and from the frequencies, uh, we can select the gender variable, uh, move it to the right side, and from the charts, uh, we can pick the option bar charts, and here we we can select whether we want the frequencies or percentages. If we select the frequencies and press the OK, uh, it's not necessary to also display the frequency table, but let's keep it. You see that we have the frequency table that allows us to uh, check the values, the frequencies, and then, as you see, uh, a bar chart has been generated. Uh, this bar chart can be edited if we double click or right click and select edit content in a separate window. So here a new window appears and we have a variety of options to customize the axis, uh, the display, uh, the fonts, whatever else we want. We can show data labels. So if we press that you see that another window appears, another dialog, which allows us to customize every detail on the graph. Text layout, the textile, the filling and border, and as you can see, we have placed the values in the uh, columns. So if we close that, you see that what, uh, what we have done as a formatting is all already here. So we can take this plot by copying that as an image and insert it in our uh, working document. Another way to create <clears throat> to create a, hist uh, a bar chart is by using the graphs legacy dialogues bar. So here we have the options to pick from a simple clustered or stacked bar chart. Let's pick the simple one. Here we need to define whether we are uh, willing to display individual cases or groups of cases. In our case, we need frequencies, so we pick the summaries of groups of, of cases. A new window appears. Now, what we do is we select what the bars will represent. The number of cases, percentage, cumulative number, percentage, or some other statistic. What will be our X or the category axis? And this is going to be the gender, male and female. And we can also customize the titles or some other options. If we press OK, again, we get the same bar chart and we can customize that as previously. We can edit that and change colors, lines or the display. And the more, the most, uh, let's see, I would say a rich way to generate a graph is by using the chart builder, which is a tool that is embedded in SPSS and allows us to create more sophisticated graphs. So what you see here is a list of the variables, a plotting area where we uh, prepare our plot by dragging the variables into X and Y axis. At the bottom here we see some tabs. We have a, a, a list of the gallery of the uh, gallery that we have, the, the different types of uh, plots, for example, histogram, line charts, bar charts, area charts that we can uh, generate. And to the right we have the specifications of every plot. So let's say that we want to generate a bar chart. So first we go to the gallery, pick from the bar 
what we would like to generate, let's pick this one by dragging that with my mouse and moving that into the working area. You see that it defines a, a template for a bar chart. So I need to define what will be displayed on the X axis and Y axis. In the X axis, I would like to display the categories for the gender. So I take the variable gender from the uh, <clears throat> from the left, I drag it and let it fall on the X axis. As you can see, the gender, when I click the gender, the two categories are displayed here in this small box. And automatically, the working, uh, the template identifies that we speak for a categoric variable uh, with two categories, male and female. So the next step is to define what will display on the Y axis. On the Y axis, we display the count, not the specific, not the, uh, not the cases. So when we click here, either in the X or in the Y, or we can select from here, as you can see, the bar chart displays the count. The statistics that we display on the bars is the frequency. We can change that to any other statistic, but for the time being, as soon as we are interesting for the frequencies, we let it as count. The x-axis contains the gender variable, the categories. We have the option here to change the appearance, the order, and for example, move it, uh, move the female first, or we can exclude some of the bars. And for the y-axis, we can select again some uh, customizations. Now, if we press the OK button, you see that the bar has been generated. So this is the way to generate a graph uh, using those three options. And we are focusing for a bar chart. So either from the descriptive statistics frequencies, either from graph legacy dialogues, or from the chart builder. Thank you very much.